I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. Oh my god! This entire world has been cursed with different types of dwellers lurking to kill me at any time. This world also has terrible weather with a ton of different natural disasters spawning randomly. Let me just start by saying this world was not built to withstand and survive by a player on their own. I will have to survive in hardcore Minecraft by building bases, setting traps, and outsmarting the dwellers in the world. But that's not it. I will be followed all the time with multiple dwellers being able to spawn at any time. The dwellers can break and climb blocks. They can even swim. So I will be attempting to survive in Minecraft hardcore mode. But be able to survive and maybe even thrive well let's find out i hope you enjoy all right here we are now i think for the first minute of this dweller mod we will be okay so we're just gonna get some wood and then we're gonna get some cobblestone all the normal stuff and there actually is iron up there so we can get that smelting hopefully by the end of the day i'll be completely honest with you guys i have tried this seven times now and the most i've made it to is 15 days i just recorded there like five minutes ago and i was playing along i built myself a little nice tree house and then i died a miserable death because what i did was i let my guard down for literally 10 seconds i just had a little break and i drank some water in my house and then one of the dwellers spawned in my house and killed me in my own house. You can teleport into your home apparently. There is some ways I can survive these dwellers. The best way is to have blocks at all times. No matter what you're doing, even if you're going down from your nice cubby hole in your house to literally just get some wood, you need to have a stack of blocks with you. You can just build up and you might be able to survive. But for probably about five of the dwellers, you just cannot build up. You still just die miserable death. Here's the goals that we want to achieve. For the first five days, I want to try and have a place to build a house, a nice safe place to build a house. From my experience, there's some challenges from building a house. Wood isn't really an option. That shit can just burn down. Some of the dwellers spawn and they just set fire. But building high up in the sky is very, very nice. Tree house or something like that up in the sky that nothing can get to. And basically just never let my guard down. Look at all the iron here. Let's get ourselves a weapon and a shield you see that right there this shield is going to save our life now the dwellers can spawn at any time throughout the day they have an increased chance of spawning whenever it's night time there is the sunset right there we're gonna make a makeshift house right now feast your eyes on that what is that oh it's a bee what up biatch? thanks for coming in <laughs> oh my god we get ourselves a full set of armor as well that is actually perfect from the first night not even one day played yet and we have got ourselves full iron armor. Okay, sunrise. Nice. Okay, we're just gonna mine all this iron. Now there's also naturally generated structures, by the way. That has some decent loot in it. Okay, we got a full stock of iron left over. Sorry, pigs. A good food source in here would be some melon. Some bamboo here. Good for building. Look at that melon. Perfect. Oh, is that a temple? That looks like a temple to me. Oh wow, I've never seen this before. Holy shit. Let's just mine down here. Something spawned. Stop. Told you it was just a matter of time. Oh no, I don't trust this. Fuck it. No, don't fuck it. No. It's all happening now. This is what always happens. Okay. He's gone. Fuck it. What is down here? Lava? Oh, there's spawners. Okay. This is literally a maze. I knew that was gonna happen. We're okay. Iron a horse armor and bones. That's pretty terrible. There's a blood moon rising. Woo! And they already have their powers. Okay, this is terrible. A blood moon is basically they have double speed, double damage, double everything. This is a terrible idea. Ah! No, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. No, we're not ready for this temple. No. What do you mean? Game. <laughs> Everything leave me alone. No. Oh, half a heart. 
Holy shit, half a heart. I'm putting my controller down and I'm sitting in here until the blood moon's gone because absolutely fucking not. The blood moon set. What am I hearing right now? I'm gonna make a run for it. Why the fuck is Siren Head here? If I pass that meter of red, Siren Head will come and kill me. Yeah, so about this temple, we will come back when we are ready because we are not ready one bit. He is right there. Let's go. Just run, let's run, let's run. Okay. Fuck. Run, 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 run. Okay. I had a feeling. I had a fucking feeling. Where is he? What? We are just surrounded by mountains. Running through the bamboo. Fuck this. Where is safety? There is nowhere safe. Everything is unsafe. What is this supposed to be? Something just spawned. Stop. I don't like the jungle. In fact, I hate the jungle. Okay, which way do you need to go? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> oh my god, oh my fucking god. Don't laugh at me, you little fucker. What is happening? Every time I try to move, something terrible happens. And I just want to get out of this fucking jungle. It's not jungle, it's not jungle. We are in a normal wood biome right now. Why are we so high up? Why are we 128 blocks up in the sky right now? This is pretty safe right now. What is that over there? Is that a building? Oh my god, I think that's a building. I think that is safety right now. It's a house. Holy shit. I think it's funny. What the fuck? What is happening in here? Why have I just interrupted? Flashback. <laughs> uh -oh. I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. Holy shit! Why the fuck is it climbing up? What? The actual fuck? <sighs> Never trust a talking villager. Holy shit. Go away. Go away. Go away. I only have three. What are you supposed to be? Hello. <laughs> I'm sweating. What? What? Oh, There's a fucking tornado. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Hi, how are you? No, I'm dead. No, I'm actually dead. How the fuck did I get blown up by? We're dead now. And there is nothing I can do about that. If you would like to see a part two to this where I try to survive, I have tried countless times and it just seems like there is just death around every corner. What do you want me to do about this? Thank you for watching the video in the first place. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Peace.